You know, when you look at the time that it's been taking me to build this cabin and the forest kitchen, and knowing how much I still have left to do with other projects here before the place is really livable for more than just myself. So if you consider when I started this cabin, which was about this time last year, well, actually it was April last year when I started clearing the ground. So in the past, when I was younger, when I was a lot more impatient, that time would really bother me. I'd be thinking, you know, I just need to get this thing done. Let's use power equipment. Let's bring in more people to give me a hand. And it's a real daily reminder that when we want something in life, we shouldn't expect to get it, but we do need to take steps each and every day to work towards that goal, that dream. And I mentioned in other videos that today's the day to start and don't let any day go by where you haven't done something to work towards that goal. It's so important to remember that time passes anyway, whether you do something or whether you don't. So before you know it, a year's passed since I started this thing. Before you know it, uh, you know, five years has passed in your life and you postpone doing that thing that you wanted to do with your life because you thought, I can't do it right now. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing and hope things change for the better. That really applies to jobs, especially, I think, or uh, even relationships, I guess. What, what you fail to work on fails to improve. So if you're in a miserable job today uh, for employment and you think, well, I have to do that because I'm raising a family, that's true. You have responsibilities and you got yourself into a position where you needed to or need to continue to, to earn money or uh, uh, provide for your family. We tend to wait for events to happen. We wait for some you know, actually there was a book I read years ago called The Shock Doctrine, and it really takes some kind of shock for a change to occur or for people to be motivated to make a change. But also that shock doctrine uh, means that when there's some uh, major shock, like a 9-11 type event, that people uh, make major changes in their lives, but also people take advantage of those situations. So in order to get uh, your life under control to be more self-reliant. I think it's important to have sustained effort towards your goals, sustained effort toward the life of your dreams and a fulfilling life rather than waiting for that one event to, to happen. Like, like somebody asks you out or somebody asks you to marry them or you get a job offer that you weren't uh, expecting or something like that or winning the lottery, I think is a, probably the best example that everybody still dreams about. Callie, hold on. But like I said, time passes whether you're working on your dreams or not. So you may as well be working on them. So if you're looking for a new job or looking for a new career, you're unsatisfied in the one you're in, don't uh, quit that job and just go out and try to find another one doing what you want to do. Because first of all, that job may not pay, might not pay as well. And second of all, you have your responsibilities that continue whether you're working or not. So you need to uh, start you know, increasing your value educating yourself in this new field that you want to enter or have a part-time job or have a, a start a part-time business or at least um, do all the research and start start accumulating the resources that you need to do that new business or to take that new job and uh, you'll find that that sacrifice that you make short term benefits you so much in the long term that it's more than worth the the uh, sacrifice that it's more than worth the investment, the, the payoff is that much greater than the sum of the investment. And the re reason I'm saying that in reference to what I'm doing here is that, you know, if I hadn't started this cabin, you know, there was a figment in my mind, in my imagination of building this cabin. And it was February 2017 where I said, I'm gonna build this cabin for free and I'm gonna find some place to do it. Didn't own a property at the time, didn't have the, the uh, natural resources like the wood and all that kind of stuff didn't even have most of the tools that I needed uh, but it was one step at a time so once that idea started forming in my mind I went out bought a couple of tools I contacted some people found some places that I could build this cabin that led to one thing led to another my wife got involved and she started getting fueled um, by my passion to to make this change and before we know it knew it before I knew it, she was searching for properties and found this property after many, many properties that we, we uh, passed over and, and bought this thing. And then I took that next step, got the logs, got the material, spent the time, made the sacrifices personally, uh, quit, resigned from the president's, president and CEO's position in a corporation that I had formed with some other guys that we were, uh, had developed in, um, uh, into a, a sizable company. I resigned from that 
prior to making this move, but completely stepped out of that business and away from that business and made that that decision to focus 100% of my effort on this thing that I needed to do with my life. And that was to simplify, build this cabin and build this wilderness homestead. Uh, but if I hadn't taken each of those individual steps towards that, it wasn't going to just happen one day for me. It wasn't just all of a sudden going to own a piece of property or have a job or win a lottery or get an inheritance that allows me to, to have the money to do that. I had to have a formulate a, a plan, go after that with the specific intent to change my life. And that applies to everything in life, not just location, not just residency. It applies to relationships, applies to employment, or applies to um, you know your community, your philanthropy, your community involvement, your you know value to society. All of these things are things you work on incrementally. You don't wait for major events to to happen. And that's what I have to do and remind myself to do every day is to take steps every single day towards the life that I want to have. Not just this cabin, not just a simple life, but family, friends, um, health, employment, um, retirement uh, planning. All of these things are things that I have formulated into a plan in my head, a goal, a, a, a dream life, and a fulfilling life. And that's what I take steps towards every single day. So thanks for your patience on this video. It is a short one. Hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and I look forward to seeing you up here at the cabin and the forest kitchen next week. Take care. Have a great week.